In this video on C Sharp Basics, we'll be discussing the while loop. Now the while loop executes code within its scope until a specified expression is false. So the while loop uses a Boolean expression, which is typically the result of a relational operator, to determine if the code should be executed. Typically with a while loop, you'll want to use the increment or decrement operator to modify a value within the expression until the expression can be evaluated to false. The while loop is very useful for executing code repeatedly until you need it to stop. One thing to be careful of with the while loop is that it is possible to have an infinite loop and continue to run your code indefinitely. Let's take a look at the syntax of a while loop. First, we need to define a variable. This variable is going to be used within the expression of the while loop to determine whether or not the expression is false. Following the definition of our variable is going to be our while loop. You can see within the parentheses of the while statement is a relational operator expression where we're checking to see if the value of x is less than 10. So long as the value of x is less than 10, then the commands within the while loop scope will continue to execute. Now, if we left it at this, where we did not do anything to the value of x, we would end up with an infinite while loop. To avoid this, we increment the value of x by one. This way, the while loop will continue to execute until x is equal to 10. Since x would then be equal to 10, it would no longer be less than 10, and the while loop would stop. I want to show you an alternate syntax of the while loop that takes some of the things that we've learned up to this point and puts them together into an interesting way to utilize the while loop. Here, we're going to define a variable called perform code, and it's going to be a Boolean variable. We're also setting its initial value to true. We're adding our x variable of int and making its initial value equal to zero. Now we state our while loop, but instead of using the evaluation of a relational operator for x, we're just going to check the Boolean value of the perform code variable. Then within the scope of our while loop, we're going to execute the commands we wish to run. Then we're going to assign the perform code variable, the value of the less than relational operator when it evaluates an increase of x against the value of 10. A few things to point out about this alternative syntax. First, the expression within the while statement is only looking to see if the perform code variable is still true. If it results in a false value, then the while loop would stop. In the assignment of the value of plus plus x less than 10 to the variable perform code, we have something going on here we haven't seen before. We're using the relational operator to determine some sort of value. We're evaluating the relationship between x and 10, and we're assigning that value to the perform code variable. Additionally, notice where we're adding the incremental operator. It's preceding the x, which means that x will be evaluated before the relational operator is performed. Then when the while expression is performed, we can be assured that x has already been incremented before the value is determined. It's a lot to take in at first, but if you really think through all of the previous lessons we've learned up to this point, you'll notice that this executes precisely the same way as the previous slide. The only difference is we've added a little syntactical sugar to our code. 